Long before the Spartans, ants were already using the phalanx formation in battle. Let us tell you about it. Here's the situation. The red ants have discovered a garden ant nest. War has begun. The lethality of the red ants sets a precedent. The kingdom is in danger. One-on-one -on -one battles are evenly matched. The red ants are fearsome. Once they grab a limb, they don't let go. The battlefield is filled with thousands of clashes. The red ants have a considerable numerical advantage. The battle is fierce. The red ants want the territory and the garden ants offspring. The red ants summon their formidable soldiers to battle. This could be the end. The soldiers take care of killing the trapped workers, quickly ending the prolonged fights. Their bites are devastating. The garden ants sound the alarm. It's time to retreat and change tactics. And thus, the Spartan formation begins. All the ants position themselves around the entrances of their nest, mandibles forward and antennae tucked in, protecting their limbs. This way, shoulder to shoulder, they prevent the red ants from immobilizing them. Any ant daring to attack the defense is dragged to the back row, where the rear guard will tear them apart. The garden ant's strategy forces a retreat, but at a high cost for both sides.